Good morning, everyone. This morning's Mass is being offered for Richard Shaw, requested by the Moyer family. Our entrance prayer, let us sing to the Lord, for he has gloriously triumphed. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My friends, as we prepare to celebrate these mysteries, let us acknowledge our sin as we call upon the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you will come in glory with salvation for your people. Lord, have mercy. May almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, by whose grace, though sinners, we are made just, and though pitiable, made blessed, stand, we pray, by your works, stand by your gifts, that those justified by faith may not lack the courage of perseverance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After much debate had taken place, Peter got up and said to the Apostles and the Presbyters, My brothers, you are well aware that from early days God made his choice among you that through my mouth the Gentiles would hear the word of the gospel and believe. And God, who knows the heart, bore witness by granting them the Holy Spirit, just as he did us. He made no distinction between us and them, for by faith he purified their hearts. Why then are you now putting God to the test by placing on the shoulders of the disciples a yoke that neither our ancestors nor we have been able to hear? On the contrary, we believe that we are saved through the grace of the Lord Jesus in the same way as they. The whole assembly fell silent, and they listened, while Paul and Barnabas described the signs and wonders God had worked among the Gentiles through them. After they had fallen silent, James responded, My brothers, listen to me. Simeon has described how God first concerned himself with acquiring from among the Gentiles a people for his name. The words of the prophets agree with this, as is written. After this, I shall return and rebuild the fallen hut of David from its ruins, and I shall rebuild it and raise it up again, so that the rest of humanity may seek out the Lord, even all the Gentiles on whom my name is invoked. Thus says the Lord who accomplishes these things, known from old. It is my judgment, therefore, that we ought to stop troubling the Gentiles who turn to God, but tell them by letter to avoid pollution from idols, unlawful marriage, 
the meat of strangled animals and blood. For Moses, for generations now, has had those who proclaim him in every town, as he has been read in the synagogue every Sabbath. The word of the Lord. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord. Bless his name. Proclaim God's Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim the Lord, marvelous deeds. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the people with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. The Gospel of the Lord. Years ago, I took my niece to hear a friend of mine perform. This friend of mine is a, a singer, she's professional, and uh, so we went to New York City, and my niece was going, getting ready to go into college for musical theater. So I took Hannah with me, and we went, and we listened to this uh, wonderfully talented woman, and afterwards we had a chance to talk with her. And in the course of the conversation, as the singer, Gabrielle, was talking with Hannah, she said to her, well, what are you doing? Are you performing? Are you singing at all? And has, well, I have a job. I have a summer job that I'm helping out at such and such a place, and I'm doing this and doing that. And she wasn't singing. And the singer said to her, to be a singer, you have to sing. Makes sense, doesn't it? Jesus says, you have to love. You have to love to be a lover. And I've loved you first, so go and do the same. We, it's, it's, it's almost circular in that. John tells us that love consists in this, not so much that we love God, but that God loved us first. That love that God has given to us through Jesus Christ and the example that he gave us is then in, 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 imbued in us and then it makes us want to share it with others. And as we do that, we come to at least approximate the perfection that happens when we love 
truly, when we love with a perfect love that is not selfish, that is generous, that is generative in the way um, it's experienced. It's that same love that God gives us. And Jesus, in this very short pa passage in this Gospel of John, Jesus explains to us that we come to that love if we live the commandments that Christ, uh, that God gave us. And what are those commandments? They're the commandments of love. Love of God and love of neighbor, right? It, it, it's all tied in and it all comes back to God because God is love. And so we're, we're entered into that whole circle or cycle of living and dying, rising, right? With God's love. And the command for us is to do that. And rather than it being an onerous command, what comes with the commandment is, if you love as I have loved you, you will remain in my presence and you'll find joy, and your joy will be complete. You know what that means? <clears throat> when we find joy, we don't want for anything. You know how so many people are looking for love in all the wrong places? Uh, to coin a phrase. Um, and they're not happy, they're unsettled, they're always lacking something. But when you find a person that has found love and is experiencing joy, it's immediately recognizable. That's what awaits us. The only thing we have to do is let God love us and then love in return. So if you're up to it, let's do it. Okay, You too at home, okay? Let's stand and pray. <clears throat> For our bishops throughout the world, may the Holy Spirit continue to animate them in their proclamation of the gospel. We pray to the Lord. For civic leaders, may the Lord light a pathway for their prudent and just decision-making in service of the common good. We pray to the Lord. For all who struggle with mental illness, that the Lord may surround them with a community of loving care and acceptance, we pray to the Lord. For all members of our community, may the Spirit rejuvenate our faith and strengthen our commitment to the gospel, we pray to the Lord. For all those who are sick or suffering in any way, in a special way, we pray for Frady Ochoa that they might receive healing and blessing, we pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may the Lord welcome them with joy into his eternal presence, we pray to the Lord. And for all those special needs and wants that we bring with us in the quiet of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. O oh, good and gracious God, we trust that you always hear us, and we ask that you answer these petitions in accordance with your will, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of you. For our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed and integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as together they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Christ died for all, that those who live may live no longer for themselves, but for him who died for them and is risen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> My Jesus, I believe that you are present in this holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The prayer to St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary. To you, God, entrusted his only Son, in you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Have a good day.